morning and welcome to day 16 of Vlogmas. My God, it's actually flying. It's going really fast. So nine days to Christmas. <laughs> um, so it's an absolutely horrible day here this morning. The wind is blowing and it has rained basically all night. So not a morning for a walk. Uh, I did think it would improve, but it hasn't. It's really horrible. So the walk, the so-called walk, the much talked about walk has been put on a rain check until the afternoon and that is because of the weather at number one and um, number two I got a phone call from the opticians this morning saying that my glasses are ready to be picked up. So I have my walking around glasses, <laughs> I have a pair of driving glasses that stay in the car and I have what I call my sewing glasses. So early in lockdown I dropped the glasses and broke the arm. So that's super glue down there and Karis has super glued it a few times for me. So um, yeah, I keep dropping them. And I'm really good with glasses. These are the first pair of glasses ever that I can remember breaking. So that's pretty good, I think, uh, because I've been wearing glasses since I was five. So just try and get comfortable there. Um, I have a lazy eye and so all of my sight is out of the one eye. And I've tried the very focals, but they just haven't worked for me. And I've actually tried them a few times as my eyesight has changed and my opticians have been so helpful and so good. So yeah, I'm picking up glasses later on. They're old frames that I had um, ages ago because yeah, I just, I seem to have like a load of frames. So in the days of buy one, get one free, I seem to have amassed a load of frames. So I dropped them in, picking them up later. So I'm picking them up around four, which coincides with picking Keras up, so that's good. And hopefully, if the weather gets any better than it is at the minute, I'll get in a little walk. So I have my embroidery machine going. It's just the small one, the one that I use for the Christmas stockings, um, because I'm still getting on with all the embroidery I was at yesterday. So this morning, I had to boot up my embroidery software that I use for my dance dresses, and I literally haven't used it since March. And I pay it by subscription, but I haven't stopped my subscription because I may need it. And I'm still kind of thinking every month I'm going to be back turning my machines on. But I think I'm in denial a little bit, so I have inquired about suspending the subscription for the moment. But I've had to do a little piece of embroidery this morning. Now, it's only a little wording, but... I could do wording and writing on the machine, so you can go into the little computer and do it. But you get a better finish on the software. So I had great fun this morning, I'm kind of rebooting that side of my brain on using the embroidery software. And it was so hard. <laughs> Even I couldn't think of how to draw a square, how to change the width of stitches. And yeah, it took me ages to do something that would have just been done in a flash back in March. So um, yeah, that's on the machine at the minute. And I've done a run on the treadmill. <laughs> and I've done that because I've been in denial a lot about putting on weight. And I stepped onto the scales this morning and I saw a number that I have not seen before. So it's official. I've put on almost a stone this year. And it doesn't make me feel good. My me maids are not fitting me. I have one pair of jeans that fits. When I bend down to pick something off the floor, there's an extra belly. And it's just making me feel really kind of cloggy and lazy. And my eating habits have gone to pot as well. I just, I eat rubbish. I'm just a picker. I'm like a cow. I graze all day. And then it comes to dinner and I'm not hungry. And I'm wondering why, but I've basically been almost eating out of my feed bag all day. So I have to kick things into, I just have to kick myself into a new routine and yeah, just cop on really, to be fair, or there'll be another stone on next year. It's so easy. I mean, so easy. And so yeah, I did a 20 minute run on the treadmill this morning. I ate a healthy breakfast of porridge. So yeah, we'll see how long this goes. It's very difficult when Keris makes the most gorgeous like chocolate chip cookies. And I mean, she could uh, she could eat and eat and eat all day. I couldn't keep up with her anyway. She's a massive appetite, but she has a totally different metabolism to her almost 50 year old mother. So yeah, I have to 
be more sensible. So I've done my 20 minutes. I almost died in the middle of it. I did five minutes of running in the middle of a program and I actually thought I was going to keel over, but I kept going. I did it. I didn't slow down the program. So yeah, that's day one done. So I'm having a cup of coffee now while the machine runs through this and then I have another few bits. I'm going to go back to the computer now and just do another little piece of embroidery for it. And I will see you all later. Now, who's going to jump over the stile? Come on. Lola, you up for it. You hopping? Are you hopping up? Huh? No, I'd have to lift you, won't I? Come on. Oh. Hold on a minute. Your sister is coming behind you. No. Okay. Right, go for it. Oh, wait. Complete loss. Now, this is where it gets tricky. No, this way. <laughs> this way. Not very good with gates and things, Lola. I know. This way. Come on. Come on. mess of a mother of